In this video, we will cover a sample exam problem for the Power PE exam. This exam problem falls under the topic of circuit analysis, which accounts for 9 out of 80 problems on the PE exam. The question reads, a 480 volt angle 0 degrees ideal Y connected generator supplies power to an ideal delta connected load. The transmission line between the generator and load has an impedance of 1 plus J2 per phase, and the load has an impedance of 15 plus J10 per phase, and what is the line current? The possible solutions are shown below. On the exam, I recommend using figures to help you to visualize the problem. If you check the website in the description from Engineering Pro Guides, you can download the technical study guide for the Power PE exam, which has many of these types of figures. But for this problem, in this figure, the line voltage of 480 volts is shown for the Y generator on the left hand side. The per phase transmi transmission line impedances are also shown here. Finally, the delta load with per phase impedances are, are shown. In order to complete this problem, you must first simplify it, and the first thing you must do is convert the delta load to an equivalent Y load. This will help to make a simpler circuit for solving for the line current. The conversion for delta to Y impedance is to divide the delta impedance by 3, as shown here. The next step is to convert the line voltage of 480 volts to phase voltage to get a simpler circuit again for solving for the line current. So the phase voltage will be between C and neutral, for example. And the conversion from line voltage to phase voltage is to divide the line voltage by root 3 and subtract the 30 degree angle difference. So the result is shown here as 277 volts. So now the drop along a phase includes the transmission line impedance and the load impedance all in a single line. And we also have the phase voltage for that phase as the 277 volts. So now we can use Ohm's law to solve this problem. So here is the um, solving for lead line current where we have 277 volts divided by the impedances that are in series together and we come up with a result of around 35 amps. If you need more information please see the website at engproguides.com. Thank you.